shields. This video is going to cover shields. Um, with, I now have 12 accounts. It's imperative to make sure they are shielded. I have a lot of different options right now for uh, shielding. I could shield them each all at the same time, which is what I've opted to do for all of my accounts. Uh, I could uh, shield all of them at different times, but it, it gets pretty daunting to have to remember when to shield all of your accounts. Um, even if you have one account, I would suggest setting an alarm. And I have set an alarm um, in my phone specifically for uh, shielding. You can see right there at 2.30 p.m. On Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I have an alarm for shielding. Um, this will change every now and then, uh, because, uh, they have, um, a little bit of time that you have to, um, change the alarm, at least for me, uh, in order to, uh, make sure that I'm constantly changing, uh, the shields at the same time. So right now I have four minutes left for my peacetime shield, uh, in Knitter. And as I go through each of my accounts, you're going to see that they're each pretty close to the same time. Um, I set my alarm at 2.30 p.m. and then I hit snooze. That gives me nine minutes before the snooze happens again. But that gives me leeway to then have time to shield all of my accounts. Um, so many other people do shields differently. I'd love to know how you each shield your accounts, uh, how you remember to shield your accounts. But for me, I use the 24 hour shields and I use the uh, five day peace shield. You can see in this account, I have a lot of two hour peace shields. I have a lot of eight hour peace shields. I only use those whenever I uh, go out hunting. I don't hunt very much anymore because I uh, don't want to get hit and zeroed out by some of our bigger players in our in our um, state. So when you hunt, um, scout anything outside of bull gang and um, uh, uh, and reinforcing as well, it drops your shield. Uh, uh, bull gang, uh, active bull gang. So if you try to reinforce someone prior to when bull gang starts, your shield will drop. Uh, so it's bull gang, wicked gang, and gang of bandits. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, uh, I have my alarm on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. On Tuesday and Wednesday, I use a 24 hour peace shield for each of those days. And then I have a five day peace shield on Thursday because my work schedule is very heavy on the weekends. I don't want to have to worry about being in the middle of work and, um, not being able to shield. There have been a couple times during the week when I'm doing stuff for school and I don't hear my alarm and I just, I'm aware now more so, I just have to get used to it, when to do it. Um, if you want to change the time of day that you shield, make sure you are um, uh, aligning these with each, with each of your, your accounts. So say if I wanted to change when I shield to 11 in the morning, then I would actually have to lose a little bit of time and basically eat some of the uh, shield that's available. So say if I wanted to change it to 11, there would be 11, 12, 1, 2. So there would still be three hours left, but that's a good way to have that buffer. All right, it's now a minute uh, to losing my peace shield. So I'm going to go ahead and start going through all of my accounts. So just bear with me. I will click, actually cancel because I'm not doing 24 hour because today's Thursday. So I'm gonna get and use a five day peace shield. Success, I'm gonna go home, go to my next account. Uh, this is when the login is super, super imperative. I have a system in which I log into each account when I'm shielding. My priority is Knitter, then Georgie, 
then Lily, uh, then uh, my bank, and then I go through all the rest of my accounts. All right, sometimes it's hard for me to time that perfectly. All right, so the next one after Georgie is going to be Lily. And it just takes time to upload. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You see how these 20 seconds... You know, I'm going to go back into Georgie because I think I did a 24-hour on Georgie by accident. So we're going to check. Um, I'm probably going to... Come on, hurry. Yep, I did a 24-hour. So I'm going to lose this 24-hour just as an example, but I have 25 left. I'm okay with that. All right, so I'm going to go from Georgie to my bank and it's probably going to have the shield be dead. <coughs> uh, come on, network. Sometimes I get anxious when I'm doing this, when I cut it close. Uh, three seconds. Holy shit. That was cutting it really, really close. All right. So I have a five day on my bank. Perfect timing, right? And uh, sorry for my use of a uh, crass word there. I apologize. All right, so we're going to go into, um, I had them out of order earlier when I did a video for camping. I don't know how they got out of order. Uh, and then I have to create a new order to add in my, so this piece time, the shield went down. So that's why the arrow was grayed out. So I'm going to add five day and... It shows the peace shield stops and starts when you have a little bit of a buffer left. You're going to only get one notification in your mail that the peace shield was started because there won't be a notification in mail when you have like a buffer in there because it's not going to notify you that your peace shield ended. So this one's gray. So the peace time... Uh, ended because I've been talking to you guys. I'm going to switch to my next account point and this is fold. So I'm going to, I have a new account for wood. So I'm going to add it into my rotation. All right. This one piece time five day. Switch accounts. So you can, you can tell that if I'm doing a gang of bandits and adding them, it is it is nice to have a 15 minute rally because that gives me time to add all of my accounts without uh, being rushed. And uh, with the more accounts you have, the longer it takes to go through all of them. So I'm gonna add into my rotation the new um, the fold account. Uh, granted, she is a new account. The only reason why I'm adding her into the rotation is to add her into the rotation. You can see she still has two days left on her peace time. And uh, I don't have enough gold to get a five day. So I'm just going to monitor, make sure I'm monitoring that account uh, so that I add in the appropriate amount of... Um, uh, shields when I add her into the rotation starting Tuesday. All right. So that's gray. So I, my peace shield did end. So I need to add that in. Um, I usually have enough gold in all of my accounts that are farms because I don't really spend very much in gold in my accounts. And so I accumulate gold through uh, the Alliance, uh, the gifts that happen with Alliance Carnival, uh, when people buy gold packs, they get the gifts. So there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of great things to being in an alliance that has bigger players. And, um, I have one of my friends, it's like, he actually renamed his name, uh, to uh, show that he really likes having people help 
buy those big gold packs. So uh, if you're in like a huge, huge alliance, those that really put a lot of money into it, you're going to get a lot of gifts. You're never going to have to buy gold packs. So that is uh, a benefit of being in an alliance is the gifts that you can have. All right. So all of my accounts are shielded now. It uh, didn't take very long. Actually took longer while I did this video because I was talking through it. Usually whenever I do it, it takes me maybe a minute to be in each one, maybe 45 seconds because I'm constantly going through. It's a really quick process. So you see, because I had the peace shield um, already uh, expired, um, it took me uh, a little over a minute to um, shield it again with a five day peace shield. And uh, you can come in and see what you've already done. So this shows you that, um, let's see, on the 8th, I, which was last Thursday, I put a five day peace shield. I, I had a buffer, so on Tuesday, on the 13th, I put a 24 hour, and then I had another 24 hour I put on yesterday, and I didn't have a buffer today. That's why my peace shield expired, and that's why I got a notification that it expired. So if you have a buffer and you apply a new peace shield, you are going to automatically add the peace shield so there will not be a notification that your peace shield expired. All right? So that's the video for uh, shielding your accounts. Make sure you're shielding, uh, set an alarm, do what you need to do. And it looks like everyone is shielded in our alliance. We have a lot of people that monitor everybody else and they'll um, send a notification in line. Uh, I had that happen actually just a couple weeks ago. I was busy doing some schoolwork, completely forgot about my uh, shields, uh, snoozed my alarm and just forgot about it. And uh, I got a notification of, in line from my friend, um, MC Sugar Daddy, and he said, hey, um, your shields are down, and I jumped on real quick. I My bank was hit first because everybody wants my reserves, uh, resources in the bank. So make sure you are shielding your accounts and uh, know how to use your shield. Those two-hour peace shields, um, eight hours, really help a lot when you're hunting. <coughs> and I'm going to show you how to use your Use, utilize those peace shields whenever I do a hunt uh, later on in another video. All right, guys, hopefully this helped you. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Again, if you have a negative comment, I will delete it because there's no need to be a negative Nancy. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.